Good afternoon, Mr. Moe Ibrahim. It's Good my afternoon. honor to sit with you. I've been Thanks. following your work for quite a long time. My name is Mariam Jam, and um, just for the purpose of this, uh, this record, I will be posting this on CNN, and hopefully other people will be watching this. I think what the people need to know, the, what the, the, the grassroots and the young entrepreneurs in Africa need to know today from you is, why do we have to have this forum in Geneva? A very good question. I asked organizers that question yesterday, and because uh, my view, African conversations uh, really are needed very badly, and it's time to have it in Africa. Uh, I think the intention is to move it to Africa in the future. Excellent. That's very good. That's, that's very good news. The, today, South Africa could have hosted this forum. Uh, Uganda could have hosted it. Uh, Ethiopia could have hosted this. Uh, we have the infrastructures right now in across the continent. So, what do you have to say to the young CEOs out there who can't attend this event, for example? You know, we, we are seeing a lot of young African entrepreneurs who are setting up their companies. So, what, what do you say to those people? What are, what are the hopes for those young African CEOs? Africa is, is moving forward. There's no question about that. We are moving forward in the area of governance, in the area of rule of law, in the area of education, in the area of health. We are moving forward. And uh, the world is start to wake up to the fact uh, that Africa really is a good destination for investment. Mm -hmm. Capital flows in Africa has started to increase, and that's a great hope. Uh, when I started to do my business in Africa, I had great problems raising funds with the banks, etc. They didn't want to fund uh, Africa. Uh, now things start to change. So that there is really a much better world out there today, and uh, a much better connected world as well. You know, the, the, our young people are very, very well connected. And uh, that all gave me reason uh, for hope. And uh, that's very important. But also we need to recognize also areas where we have some deficit. I mean, examine, for example, if this meeting was happening in Uganda, as you suggested, you would have found that uh, many of those CFO in Africa who wanted to come to the meeting would have global needed to come to Paris first to change the plane and go back to Uganda or go to Dubai and come back to Uganda. And also, they may have to wait for a couple of weeks to get a visa to mm, go to Uganda. Absolutely. And uh, so there is issues here. What I was talking about earlier in the, in the, at the conference here in the morning session was the need for African integration. We need to break down these barriers between African countries. We need to have the freedom of movement of goods, people, and capital across Africa. We need to create that trade area across Africa. That's essential mm. because otherwise you talk about Africa, but what is Africa? Mm. Africa is 54 countries which are not trading with each other, are not talking to each other and then we meet once a year in Addis Ababa and say hey we are African Union and what union? Where is the union in the African Union? We call it the African Union? Mm. What union? So we have all these commissions and you know for economic integration, the communities, etc. But the work is very slow. Where is the political will? We need to generate the political will to really move forward. Look at those Europeans. Why they created the European market? Why they made it into the European Union? There is certain benefit for them of doing that. Those are smart people, they're not stupid. Mm. Okay? So why why aren't you doing the same? This is is really the urgent message I really want to pass to your friends that African integration is a must. Too many small countries is not viable for the future. How can we compete with India? How can we compete with China? How can, can we compete with the United States or Europe? If we are 54 small little countries, each one just closing its border and pretending that it is an entity able to compete with a giant, there's no place. Do you, share, do you think we need to share more in Africa? Do you think we need to share more? South Africa need to share with Uganda? Do you think there is sharing needed across the country? It's, it's more than sharing. We need to appear as an economic block. So we are able to negotiate as a block. 
our companies to be free to work across borders. We're able to move goods around. You know, today there is surplus food here, there is famine here. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot move goods from here to here. Do you know that the cost of moving goods from China to West Africa is higher than moving goods from East Africa to West Africa? That's not acceptable. Yeah. If China was 54 countries, where China would have been today? Mm -hmm. Achieving integration means the freedom of movement of goods, people, and capital across African borders. If you are, if you are Euro European or American now, visiting Africa, you don't need visas for most African countries. If you need a visa, it can be done in 24 hours. Now, if you are African, carrying an African passport, trying to visit your brothers and sisters in the other countries in Africa, that is a tough call. And that is not, is not right. Goods does not move between countries without stopping at borders, filling endless form, spending two or three nights at the border. By that time, the tomatoes is gone off, the product is, is... The cost of moving goods across Africa is just not acceptable. We must have this regional integration to enable, really, scale. We need a scale. One last question. Do you think the more Ibrahim Foundation, uh, the, the prize will be given to African, the young CEOs? Do you think we're going to have a prize for African CEOs, African leaders, the, the youth, the diaspora, people who are growing and making differences? Well, actually, Mo Ibrahim Foundation did not corner the market on prizes. You know, why didn't you offer that prize yourself? <laughs> you know, I, I mean, we saw that the head of the fish, you know, where things happen. Either the road starts or things prosper. Mm. And we are targeting the head of the fish because that's where we really need bold decision making. Of course, there's room to offer prizes for everybody. I mean, for, you know, best athletes, for the best parliamentarians, for the best CEOs, etc. Also, I think the best CEOs are usually rewarded very well by their shareholders, <laughs> I tell you. My CEOs were extremely well rewarded. Thank we are you, not Mr. waiting for our rewards. <laughs> thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Thank you.